fascinating new study funded by the American Cancer Society and conducted at the University of Texas MD Anderson Cancer Center looked at the effect one particular bean had on cancer survivors, specifically looking at markers of inflammation, gut microbiome and blood metabolites, and the results were amazing. It was a randomised study called the BGON trial, and it was published by eBiomedicine, which is part of the prestigious Lancet family of journals. And it followed 48 men and women over the age of 30 who met the criteria for obesity via body mass index or waist size and who had a history of bowel lesions. This included patients with a history of colorectal cancer, about 75% of them, and or high-risk precancerous polyps of the colon or rectum detected at colonoscopy. For eight weeks, participants either followed their regular diet or included a daily cup of one particular bean. They ramped up over two weeks and then consumed half a cup of cooked organic canned navy beans, about one serving, and later went up to one cup of cooked navy beans every day for the remaining six weeks of the intervention phase. White navy beans are known here in the UK as haricot beans. Every four weeks, participants provided stool and fasting blood samples to assess shifts in the gut microbiome as well as host metabolites and markers. Participants who added a cup of navy beans daily to their regular meals saw extremely positive changes in their gut microbiome, which is associated with cancer prevention and improved treatment outcomes. The scientists saw an increase of alpha diversity, basically beneficial bacteria such as Fecalibacterium, Eubacterium and Bifidobacterium, and a decrease in pathogenic bacteria. Now I find this next statement hard to believe because we are seeing more and more evidence that plant foods can have a significant and often rapid impact on the microbiome. But one of the authors did say, observing a shift in microbiome diversity with diet intervention alone is rare. And this study underscores the ability of a readily available prebiotic food to bring about such changes. Over the course of eight weeks, there was an improvement in participants' gut health marked by an increase in beneficial bacteria, which wards off the harmful bacteria. The researchers also saw adjustments in something called proteomic biomarkers, which relate to inflammation, intestinal and systemic immune response. They found that fibroblast growth factor 19 increased, and this increase can signal beneficial metabolic and gut liver effects. They also saw interleukin 10 receptor alpha decrease during bean consumption, which basically indicates that their bodies were in a less inflamed state and almost like the body was signalling that they don't need to stay on high anti-inflammatory alert anymore. For people who have had or have colorectal cancer, disturbances in their normal microbial balance causes inflammation and can affect survival. Even after cancer treatment or precancerous polyp removal, a poor diet and an unbalanced gut microbiome can have negative effects on prevention efforts for both cardiovascular disease and cancer. Small white navy beans were chosen specifically because they're full of gut-supporting fibres, amino acids and other nutrients, which can help the beneficial bacteria in the colon flourish, supporting immune health and regulating inflammation. Another author said, The beans did not appear to induce gut inflammation or seriously impact bowel habits, which is crucial for colorectal cancer survivors and patients. However, once participants stopped eating the beans, the positive effects faded quickly highlighting the need to educate patients on how to maintain healthy habits. In this next video, we learn about one of the most surprising and unexpected anti-cancer vegetables. To view it, you can click the middle of the screen now, or it will be pinned to the top of the comments below.